Uh, look, I thought we played pretty well in very difficult circumstances in the West Indies. Um, I think it needs to be understood that the West Indies are a vastly improved side. When they were in Australia a few years ago, uh, they didn't seem to be a cohesive group. And under the leadership of Otis Gibson as coach and Darren Sammy as their captain, they're a very different unit now. I didn't think their batting was particularly strong. I mean, Bravo's a good player and Chanderpaul, of course, did extremely well. But apart from that, their batting wasn't particularly strong. But they were very hard to shake off. They fielded brilliantly, bowled with discipline. Uh, they were a good side. So I thought we did well on those wickets to beat them 2-0. Yeah, well, I mean, they just turned square. So right from the first day, the ball was turning like that and more and with inconsistent bounce. So it was a very good wicket for spinners to bowl on. I, I think they caught us a little bit unawares. Uh, when they were in Australia last time, they weren't an impressive side, but they're a vastly changed side. And I thought in the, uh, in the ODIs and the T20s, some of their cricket was just brilliant. Their fielding, I don't think I've seen better ground feeling, fielding from a side ever. They were, they were wonderful. Well, look, it was very much a coming of, coming of age for Matthew Wade. Um, I mean, it was a very tall ask for him, uh, both batting and especially wicket-keeping on wickets that turned so much and kept low. Uh, and his, in his keeping improved. I thought his innings when he made a century in the final test match was probably the best, well, was the best batting of the series. Uh, and it was a real coming of age for him. Uh, Mitchell Stark uh, practised hard through the tour and then played in the last test, so it was great for him to get an opportunity. Um, and Nathan Lyon, I mean, he, he had a, a great experience bowling on those wickets. They were very spin-friendly wickets, so he gained an enormous amount of experience in those conditions. Well, one of, one of our uh, things, one of our mantras is the bowl, not only the bowlers have got to be able to bat, and we're delighted with the way you know, young bowlers like uh, James Pattinson, and Mitchell Stark, uh, Pat Cummins are developing their batting. But also, I think in a cricket team, you need your batsmen to bowl. Uh, and you think of Mark and Steve Waugh, Greg Blewett, Greg Chappell, Doug Walters, lots of them. Uh, you need your batsmen to bowl. So it was very pleasing to see that uh, David Warner got, I think, three wickets. Mike Hussey got a wicket. And then Michael Clark in the last match got five wickets. But to, uh, to have a more complete attack, you need your four bowlers and some of your batsmen being able to bowl decently. So that was good. I think our top six, the batsmen are very good. And they got starts and they looked promising and on, in very difficult circumstances when the ball was new and, and the spinners were on early and it was turning and rearing. They played very well for 20s and 40s and 50s, but we didn't have, as you would expect, um, you'd expect top order players, you know, a number of them to go on, and in this series we didn't, and it was probably just one of those things.